My name is Dave Normandin. I'm the COO of Long Fence and Home. We serve Maryland, Virginia, the District of Columbia, and West Virginia. And I've been asked many, many times, what makes your window so different from the competitors? I thought I'd take a minute here and explain the technology of heat mirror and what caused popular science to refer to us as one of the top 100 inventions in the last 1,000 years. The thing I'm holding in my hand is called a radiometer. What the radiometer does is, in it you'll see a small flywheel. The flywheel is activated from heat. Seeing that we don't have the sun here, we're going to use this heat lamp to simulate. And as I'm hoping the camera is picking up, you can see it's consistently, it's moving faster and faster and faster. The warmer the unit gets, the faster it spins. When you take a normal window, very, very common these days is what's referred to as a double glazed window. And double glazed simply means there's two panes of glass. So if I put the two panes of glass in front of our radiometer, you'll notice there's hardly any decrease in the movement whatsoever. That's because two standard panes of glass still allows the heat from the sun to penetrate into the home, as well as in the wintertime, the heat from your home to escape to the outside. Knowing this, a lot of manufacturers say, well, geez, let's step it up a notch and let's go to a heavier triple pane, which is what I'm holding in my hand presently. As we put the three layers of glass in front of the radiometer, you'll see that it's still is spinning consistently. So we'll go one step further. Let's use all five panes of glass and see if we can't keep that solar heat from warming up our home, see if we can't keep our heat in the home. There's evidence here it's a little bit slower, but even five panes of glass are not stopping the heat from passing through the windows. We all know the best insulator is fiberglass insulation. So if we were to take fiberglass insulation in front of our solar heat, I want you to watch the radio meter for a few moments. You'll start to see that the pinwheel is slowing down. It's slowing down as the fiberglass is deflecting the sun's heat back out, you can feel it on either side, you feel nothing here, and it's almost come to a full stop. If this were simulating a heater in your home, the heat is staying in your home. If this were the sun hitting your home during the summer months, the heat is staying outside, making for a very comfortable living environment. The problem, of course, is the visibility really isn't the best to have in a window. Knowing the problems that we have, where we need the visibility, yet we need the insulating performance, Kensington and Long Fence and Home 600 series with exclusive heat mirror. Take just a minute. As you look at the radiometer, you'll notice it's slowly slowing down. As I show you this cutaway with this fine film, this fine piece inside between two panes of glass is a unit called heat mirror. Heat mirror is what popular science and mechanic refer to as one of the top 100 inventions in the last 1,000 years. And as you look at the radio media, you can understand why. The heat mirror window from Long Fence and Home is actually preventing any of the solar heat from passing into the home in the summer and keeping your heat in your home in the winter. You can see that it's coming to a complete dead stop. The insulating factor of that window is equivalent to the fiberglass insulation. The difference is far better visibility. When it comes time to replace the window in your home, which would you prefer?